Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Ultra Hardware number 67027. This is a mail slot is what it is what it is. We refer to these as a magazine slot. You'll have letter slots, mail slots. You'll have a letter slot and you'll have a magazine slot. One is for letters, one is for magazines. This is the bigger of the two, so we'll call it a magazine slot, even though the manufacturer doesn't call it that. They just call it a letter slot. But in industry parlance, that's what this is going to be. Uh, the 67027 specifically means that it's made of solid brass. The exception of that rod that's back there. Oh, it's stainless, actually. Well, even the spring is. So it's completely non-ferrous. This rod and the spring... Um, along with the fact that it's made of solid brass with then a, a, a polished finish on it. Nice looking piece of equipment. Something like this will last decades. I did just have a client call um, looking for a spring only for this and I was able to send the client the photograph of the spring. I would imagine, and there's a image down below this video showing the spring as well, I imagine the client should be able to concoct something, you know, get some sort of spring that can be made to work. Uh, because the only thing that you don't need the spring in order for it to operate, but you do kind of want it to close on you. You know, gravity will certainly keep it closed, but having a little spring tension is awfully nice as well. Let's go over some basic dimensional properties. They say it's 13 by 3.5. I'd say it'd be 13, just heavy, 13 and a 16 by 3 and 5 eighths. The question becomes is what size do you prep the uh, in the door for this? And I would say that you're going to need to be, you know, obviously wide enough to fit this, you know, the workings of the unit into the space, but not so wide that you're going to compromise the location of the hole. So you're going to need to be right about here over to right about here to fit that all in. It'll be pretty close. I'm going to put this down on my desktop and then simply measure it like what a dimension would be I would make. I would be at about 11 and 3 eighths wide. And then the height. I'd be at about two and 11 sixteenths, 11 and three eighths by two and 11 sixteenths. That is gonna require that you most likely need to notch just for that, the tip of the spring possibly. And then over here, notch for this to fit in. That's a pretty tight dimension that I gave. That's where I would be on it. This is what's called a single flap versus the double flap, but the single flap has an open trim on the inside. Being, poly being made of solid brass, it does, does afford a very nice uh, polished finish. Okay. It's all solid brass. I would imagine that this is wrought, possibly forged. I don't know the process of material, you know, metallurgy and material manufacturing to know if it's either wrought or forged. Um, it might just be wrought. Actually, maybe it's not. Forged is a higher quality process comparatively uh, over overwrought. This might this might be a forged product. Uh, the what the manufacturer doesn't list here is what a sleeve would be for this if you needed to, and you would. You cut a hole in the wood door, and you're going to need to put a piece of sheet metal in there. That's the mailbox sleeve. I don't see that they have that available, but we'll take a look. Screws are included in a complementary finish. Be mindful, they're made of steel. That's probably not a bad idea, given the fact that brass is a very soft material, and if you are attaching your mail slot to the door and you're not aware of the fact that those brass, those screws are brass, those can be sheared. Um, so the fact that they're steel base, you know, is um, not necessarily an evil. Uh, it's gonna be a stronger material. Let's switch now to the screen view and take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Here is the item that we are looking at, and we can take a look at some photographs that we have posted here. The packaging, the label, front and back sides with the screws, front side only. 
back side, the back side of the front side, the rear of the exterior half, showing that spring for the client who asked for that. Another dimension on that spring, or forgive, forgive me, another perspective on the spring. Uh, then the rear of the interior portion of that, and then your screw package. Okay, so the description down below tells us price given per each. When you buy one, you'll get one kit. Uh, 67027 brass finish, fully hinged spring loaded single. If you had a double flap, there would be springs on, well, not generally on both sides. The inside flap, you generally don't have a spring on the inside flap because you don't want the lip of the item tearing your mail as it's being pushed through. So generally, that's not spring-loaded on the inside. Uh, outside flap, uh, openings conform to postal regulations furnished with screws. Now, there's a link here to the manufacturer's page. Let's copy our part number. Let's go to the manufacturer's page, and then from there, let's pull up the Ultra Hardware product catalog. And while that document loads, here it is, we can do a find function on our keyboard for 67027 and get right to the page where it can be seen. Okay, um, This page will show you all of the mail slots available from Ultra. Very inexpensive units. A little different style, different sizes, different finishes. In our 67027 down here, the large magazine size, um, they do have a satin nickel as well. And I am noticing that this is apparently a, a typo here, 2 and 5 sixteenths. That I'm not sure what they're referring to other than the inside dimension, perhaps. Um, now, I talked about the door sleeve. Here it is, 67062. If you're going to buy a magazine size, the larger ones, you're going you're gonna to need, you're gonna need a, a sleeve. I, I couldn't imagine, unless you're making your own sleeve, I couldn't imagine you know, cutting a wood door and then not using this is the bottom line. Uh, okay, so that covers up the covers the catalog portion, showing you the other options that are here and available. Pretty typical. Now the balance of the hardware catalog is awfully handy. It's 150 plus pages of all things hardware from Ultra, whether it be commercial hardware or residential hardware. Uh, their catalog is pretty comprehensive. It's a confluence of value and quality that you get from Ultra. They're an importer of material from several points in Asia, uh, but I you know, would certainly say that their material is, is indeed a confluence of value and quality. Hinges and lock sets and door closers and cabinet knobs, things of that nature. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Now when it comes to ultra hardware, it is indeed a confluence of quality and value, um, you know, price, you know, things of that nature. Um, if you're a commercial customer, I would take a look at their hinges, their door closers, their lock, si lock sets and exit devices. If you're building a strip mall, Ultra Hardware will likely have material quite suitable to you in both quality and cost. If you're a commercial customer, I'd take a look at their cabinet hardware. Um, I've reviewed probably a few dozen of their poles and knobs, and I find that it seems, uh, it's striking to me that confluence of quality and value and cost Nice looking knob, you know, much of it is made of zinc, which means it will be heavy, it will be inexpensive and take a nice finish, so it'll look very nice. Uh, so maybe review that cabinet knob uh, material as you're looking through the entire catalog. If you have any questions on the 67027 magazine size mail slot, single flap style mail slot, polished brass over solid brass or any other uh, ultra hardware product, please feel free to reach out to us and thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.